my kids the, t- the thing I'm crazy. They think, Ma, when are you going to stop? No, I'm not going to stop. I'm the oldest vendor in New York City vending. There could be other people where the sons and the daughters took over. Uh, it's just me. If I die, it dies with me. That's, that's how it goes, you know? My name is uh, Joanna Despas. They call me Mama Jo. Uh, I run Mama Jo's breakfast car, yeah. I was doing this for uh, 35 years, maybe more. It was no breakfast cars in the city at the time I started. Now we have like 3,000. Breakfast car sells usually, you know, bagels and donuts and muffins and danishes, but I do beyond that. I, I have uh, all kinds of omelets and all kinds of eggs and. Uh, I make Greek food and I make spanagopi, I make olive bread, I make baklava. I do all kinds of iced coffees, cappuccinos, frappuccinos. I do everything. My most popular is spanagopi and bacon and cheese. I never go to any other corner for all these years. 47 and Park, that's where you find me. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? My customers, they're my jewels. <laughs> they are. You yeah. become involved with the families and the kids and everything, yeah. They call me Mama Joy in the minute. I'm telling you, they give me the name. They, my name was Joanne from the beginning and then Joe. And they became Mama Joe. I said, do you want me to add a Grandma Joe now? <laughs> so all the young kids, you know, they come from all over the United States and they work in banks and in law firms and everything. They don't, they don't know too many people here. So it's good to know somebody, a friendly face, and they appreciate it. And you can ask them too, it's not my word. Today is your birthday? Don't give me the five bucks, this is on me. You want me to sing for you? <laughs> I come every morning here, and I say to Mama Jo every morning, good morning, Mama Jo. And she takes care of everybody, and she always has a smile on her face. One time, I remember I was coming, and I go, who is Mama Jo? Mama Jo's not here today? <laughs> you know? I said, what happened, guys? If I get a little older, I said, Mama Jo, you said in the chair, we'll make the coffee, but you'll be here, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I was born in uh, north of Greece, uh, a little town called Pilori. The time I was born, 1951, it was not that easy years, you know. Kids go to school and then come home and they go to the fields. And I was seven years old, work in the fields, uh, cotton and tobacco and a lot of things. I came here in 1968. I moved to America for a better future, for a better life. I love this country, yes. I'm here so many years. I came here with nothing, no money, absolutely nothing. I started from zero, and I put kids through college, and I bought a home. If you want to do things, you can do it in this country. I don't see you back there. <laughs> <laughs> like me. I sit at a desk and it's like people walk by me and go, hello. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh my goodness. Every day you hear a story. I wake up 11 um, 45. I leave my house 12 midnight. And I go to my fruit stand 12 30. What is this? Avocado. I know. From Peru. <laughs> From Peru? Yeah. Okay. Avocado from Peru. I go to the fruit market every morning. Every day is fresh what we sell, you understand? Fevgo. That's it though. Abrio. We're gonna go now to a place where I park my push car. Yeah, I sleep probably uh, three and a half, four hours every day. I get up and I'm up. People, they say, how are you doing? You're 68 years old. I guess I came from my good genes, you know? Then I go one o'clock to my commissary and I pick up my car from there. This is my menu. <laughs> like, uh, if you go to a breakfast uh, restaurant, I have more stuff than what they have in the menu. At 207, my driver's gonna come. And then he's gonna take this to my spot. So it's 207. I know. Ooh. I'm gonna give him a ticket. He has my driver. Mohammed is a great guy. He's from Africa. He's such a great guy. The city never sleeps, never sleeps. 
Then I come here around around two o'clock. Hey, babe. Hey, what's up? You gonna help me yes, here? I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna pull this down, right? Ah, uh, thank you very much. It doesn't do it for anybody else. Only for me, right, babe? That's right. <laughs> Everything comes here, delivered to me. My eggs fresh and my milk comes every day here. Four o'clock, I put the grill on. Hello, guys. Hi. Okay. I'm gonna get a little busy now. Oh, you do? That's because they filmed me today. That's why. <laughs> Thank you, Suya. Thank you, man. Mama Jo, everybody in the office knows her. So she's kind of a staple here. She takes time to take care about you. It's a great way to start the day. She's part of my routine now, so it's great. You know, we just talk about the day, talk about those families. Next thing you know, a year or two years goes by, and it's, uh, you know, you're just part of each other's lives, which is kind of special. So we make a picture? Yes, yes, of course, here. Yeah, yeah. Tutuli, come here. Here's my tutuli. Take my tutuli. Yeah! So sake and cheese. What I'm gonna make it on a roll for you? I put the cheese here and then I put this one on top so we can melt it. So then we put this here. And then if you want salt, the pepper, and ketchup, whatever. I like pepper. Though this one is a little spicy, you know? And I'm gonna put a little sriracha, you know? Like a little sriracha, okay? I close it up and then I give it a nice cut like this. And I'll go pop. That's it. And then you eat it. Sure. Toast it, toast it. Toast the bagel. Yeah, baby. Uh, thank you. I can write a book. I have stories and I have photos, gentlemen. I don't forget anything. The book is going to call 47 environment. Maybe I will do it too. You never know. If I retire, not too long ago, actually, you know, it was um, guys who tried to rob me, they, they, they grabbed my phone. And uh, I chase them. But also, don't forget, I have hot water. I can easily, you know, fix everybody. <laughs> Make them a scar face if they try to do anything. You want a frappadaki? He goes, baby, you have to work. And you have to like what you do. You don't like it, don't do it. I'm 68 years old. You know, and I'm doing what I, because I like what I do. You see the exercise I do here. And I do even more in my house. So I don't stop. And I, I'm not, I'm not stop. How long I'm gonna keep doing this? My kids ask me that all the time. I don't know, maybe in two years, five years, 10 years, I don't know. I'm still healthy, I have energy. You have to put priority. What is your priority? Who comes first? You come first, you know what I mean? Don't stress in life, never fear, and do what you like. And if you have a big problem, leave it for tomorrow, babe. Tomorrow, maybe that problem is not gonna be there. <laughs> you see, that's because of you. Yes. Yeah, right. Who wants to? <laughs>